Anyway, it also sort of presses the player that, you know, you've gone into the depths, you've gotten a bunch of things immediately, and you've gotten a bonfire, which sort of makes you feel like you've made some permanent progress here. And I feel like the game very deliberately gives you that key to make you go backwards. So I think it really does try to tell you through level design that you should you should go back. You should check this place out. Or you, you should check out the stuff that you've now unlocked. Whoop. So, uh, we're gonna do that. See y'all soon. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> you know, I honestly can't remember if I got that conversation from him. I like it. It's sort of a, well, good job, but uh, you're, you're only halfway to the fir very first thing you've been told to do in the game. What's wrong? Got a bit of a scare out there? No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> Anything else? Any people? Well, I've already no. decided I don't really care. I'm simply... Crestfallen. <laughs> How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. Right, there we go. He actually starts commenting on the people that show up as people show up. How did that old man make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. You know, I'm not actually sure who that's supposed to refer to. I'm like, Latrec, maybe? Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. Like... It could be our new guest... Laurentius. But, uh... He's not that old. I don't know. It said, uh... Oh, perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's let's uh, spend some time in Firelink Shrine, reacquainting ourselves with friends. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancy of the Great Swarm, so I can use my mammoths with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magics unsavory. So, I'm going to go into a lot about this just at various times, but uh, Laurentius teaches pyromancy, which in universe is completely separate, and in gameplay, is completely separate from sorcery, which is what Griggs uses, and is looked down upon much more so. And in this game, where Griggs won't even tell you that he will sell you magic unless you are quote-unquote intelligent enough, Laurentius will always give you the option, and, but will always give you the option to buy his pyromancy. However, he phrases it in the form of one of the only no answers that you're supposed to give in the game. I think there's like one other one. And it tells you exactly what you need, like exactly what the game wants you to know about pyromancy in a lore sense. And it's really cool, you know, do you, unless you find the magics unsavory. And he's, there's like an obvious question there, you know, like, would you, do you, do you not like me because I'm a pyromancer? It's, it's, he's, this is very clearly a person who has been taught all his life to be careful about his magic. And it conveys so much with that one simple yeah, thing. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. Like, even there, he's even hedging. He's like, oh, it'll be great. I'm, I'm so happy I have you. But, but you know, it's, it's not it's not super great. He's, he's, bit, you know, he's cutting your expectations immediately. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully-fledged pyromancer. Well, let's get started right now. 
But when, and then when you talk to him about this, he's clearly so happy, so into it. He's so happy to have just found someone to talk to this to. I love Laurentius, and he's one of my favorite, like, just general NPC story guys in the game. So, I love talking about him. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it, just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, Tony Undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> And you can tell that he's like, he's not used to talking to people, he, he admits it himself in this conversation, but even the way that the voice actor delivers that line is very much like, not someone used to teaching to explaining himself. It's a really well done performance. The pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. It's, it's almost like he's coming off with this completely on the fly, which is uh, something I could relate with. I think that's all he has. The pyromancer's yep. flame. The flame. Why not? Please take it. So it's, it's, he's such a good character that gets so much by with so little explanation. So I believe when you get the fire thingy, uh, I don't actually know if he gives you... Yeah, I guess he doesn't give you any of the of the pyromancy spells that go along with it. You also have to buy them from him. Um, so let's grab Fireball. And Combustion for now. And it actually... I think I'll save this for now, because I think those souls are going to go somewhere else. Uh, so, along with being able to purchase these spells, Laurentius can also upgrade your Pyromancy Flame. Unlike magic, uh, like sorcery, Pyromancy is a magic that is not tied to any of your stats, simply to the ability of your Pyromancy Flame. So... It's basically a way for purely melee, or really just purely physical attack users to spec into some magic to get some extra diversity in their, uh, in their attack kit. So it's, I really like the way that it's designed. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. And of course, he says that, like, he, he's already so happy to be friends with you just because you were open with him. And you can, you can already tell that, like, in his life, he has had so much trouble finding people that he could really just, you know, talk to. So his his character is just so fantastically done. Anything interesting in this pyromancy flame? Flame medium used by great swamp pyromancers. Pyromancers arouse this flame to produce various fire arts. Equip pyromancer flame to produce pyromancy, attune pyromancy to the bonfire. Most have limited number of uses. So, mostly gameplay stuff. We are going to put it in our offhand. It's just what people do, I guess. And then we don't have any pyromancy equipped right now, so if we try to do anything with it, we'll just do a little... <laughs> oh well, kind of thing. But once, once we get a pyromancy, that will be quite useful to us. Anyway, uh, as I checked earlier, Petrus has returned, but strangely his companions kind of haven't. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy. Deathly so. So you might think that that's just a phoned-in 
voice actor line, but, uh, it's kind of not. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. So, uh, Petrus's dialogue has gotten a little bit different. And, uh, in fact, now that we've talked to him, I don't actually remember how much. I I'm gonna dump these souls into something anyway. I really hope I have enough. Oh, wait, I have more than enough. I, I had the completely wrong conversion factor on here. Wow. I'm about to do something. I'm very good at math. Let's see what the Trek has to say. Ah, you certainly are keeping busy. Care to pay for a useful tip? Yes, that's only 1600. For some, for some reason in my brain, I thought it was a thousand times soul level. It's only a hundred times soul level, so I had plenty. A wise choice indeed. Maiden Thuraland and her followers recently arrived in this land. But she became stranded deep below the catacombs. Her followers either fled or were reduced to hollows, leaving Maiden Thuraland all alone. Not a bad tip, huh? A new bar cleric would be replete with humanity. Bit of a creepy word choice there, Latrec. Hmm? That tip I gave you? I heard it from a fleeing old man. That poor bastard. All his robes and trinkets won't help him now. <laughs> I, I almost feel like that voice actor must have just coughed up a shitstorm after that laugh there. Oh my god. Hm. You again. What is it? Our futures. Yeah, I thought so. So. This whole exchange that you can do here is very, very easy to miss because if you kill the boss of the depths, it will it will disappear. You have to talk to Petrus and his uh, squires or like and the rest of the group to get them to leave. Then let the area load out and reload to get Petrus back into it and have him talk over, you know, talk over to him and then talk to Latrec before you finish the depths. It's a really tight timing, and I think that's one of the reasons they kind of make you go back, or suggest strongly that you go back. Oh, hello there. Have you spoken with Sir Lautrec? Splendid. In the depths of the catacombs, Milady slipped off the giant's coffin and into a hole. Her two companions are no longer human, and the lass weeps in solitude. Right now, you could do as you please with her. The poor little purebred is entirely helpless. <laughs> so, yeah! Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. And I sort of love that they give him that completely generic dialogue at the end there afterwards. It's sort of like, oh, I guess you've kind of figured out uh, and then you, you're like, I, that's, that's, that's cute, that's good. Anyway, if you need any more miracles, oh, it's, it's good, and I really like it. It's a part of the game that a lot of people just end up missing, because you, you really is out of the way, and you, you might be wary to paying Latrek anything after he gives you kind of a shitty reward. Let's see if there's anyone else who has anything to say about this. I do kind of hope I didn't screw up the order on this and, like, make one of them not show up. Oh, stop. Can't fucking parry a kick. Wonder if this will work. Run away! Wow, I didn't realize they were all the way back here. Huh. Interesting. So that actually has a lot of uh, things to make it so you really have a so that you'll really have a hard time just running straight back to the gargoyles. I never knew that. Like that that was where those uh, hollows were initially placed. Pretty neat. Up oh, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. 
I would have just skipped this, but that was actually interesting enough to warrant it. Hello there. Greetings and welcome back. I am pleased to see you be preserving my humanity. Gotta look good. Uh, so now, as I had mentioned the last time, there wasn't really a talk option before. What you got to say, Oswald? Hmm. Has no acquaintance with Petrus of the Thunder? I would, you too, as likely have much in common. For is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> God, that is the best line in the game. There, there's so many little things that if you if you come back here and it's so good. Anything else? Mm. Nope. Has the acquaintance? I want to hear it one more time. You too. For is he not too drenched in sin? <laughs> <laughs> it's so you contagious. Any time. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> I love you so much, Oswald. I just want to hug you. And of course, since we're out here, might as well go give that ember to Andre. Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? I mean, it's not like I can do anything with it. Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Alright, so Andre now has two ways that he can upgrade weapons. You can either, or actually three ways, I forgot the large ember gives you raw as well. So you can either go the divine path, the raw path, or the plus six path, which is basically the straight upgrade path. Um, I want to say, yeah, raw is a flat upgrade to the weapons base damage itself. But it hurts scaling. I kind of don't remember that 100%, so don't super quote me. But, uh, and then plus 6 is sort of just the next step in the chain. It, you can get them all the way up to plus 10 once you ascend them with an ember. So, the, the weapon tree really starts to branch out here once you get to plus 5. There's just a ton of different ways that you can actually take weapons. All that said, we don't actually have a large Titanite shard, so all of this is for naught. Do I have... yeah, I might as well throw the rest of these Titanite shards into here while we're here. And you got anything else to say, Andre? I know little of the Darkroot Garden, although I've heard rumored those who get... Nope. Alright, that's good enough get our shield just that little bit better. Um, I could also start reinforcing our armor, but again, I don't really care to. We're clearly not in enough danger to warrant it at the moment. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. You got it, buddy. I could go rest at a bonfire, but I don't really care to reset the enemies. Admittedly, I've got some of them leash are chasing me quite far. Hello! Oh yeah, uh, it is kind of worth going back to the find that we had in the beginning of the game with like the cleric's sway, basically with the Petron, wow, it's completely fucking blank there. Petrus of Thorland's uh, gear along with the cracked red eye orb. It's worth mentioning that because it's, you know, that's. The, the fact that he actually is evil as fuck is, you know, kind of a nice confirmation of the suspicion that you get from the items, and I really like that. Is there anything new? In the depths of the catacombs. Nope. Her two. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. 
So yeah, he's Come again. just straight evil. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Never trust a man with a bolt cut. That's all I got to say about that. Anyway, last thing I want to do here is because we're such good pals with Laurent Laurentius. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. As always, if you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Let's give him some money. Just gonna spec straight into the pyromancy flame. I am gonna be upgrading this like as much as possible because it's really good. And I really like pyromancy as a magic system for people who aren't into magic system, <laughs> who are who like aren't specking specifically into the magic system. So it's pretty cheap at first, but it goes up quite heavily. Um, it's interesting that it's really badly communicated here, like. When you upgrade your pyromancy flame, the only thing that, it, that the game actually shows you as going up is the attack of the weapon and the, uh, like, like, this attack here, I believe, is only when you actually punch someone with it. The amount of damage pushed up, like, of the pyromancies themselves isn't really shown anywhere. It's, it's really strange. Kind of unintuitive UI design. Yeah, so we're, we're up to Pyromancy Flame 3, and it already costs 3,000 souls to upgrade this thing. It goes up very, very quickly, but it is absolutely worth the investment. Goodbye, then. Come back if you find anything new. Of course. That quote is actually foreshadowing, just for the record. And while we're here, I will finally rest at a bonfire, and finally use that magic slot I attuned. I'm more of a fan of combustion, so I'm just going to throw that in. It's got 16 uses, uh, as opposed to Fireball's 8. Uh, and where fire while Fireball is ranged, which is super useful, combustion is just, you know, a lot of punch, a lot of utility and usefulness. Combustion is actually like a direct attack. You basically punch someone, but for a bunch of damage. Uh, and the rest of these souls... Yeah. I guess I'll level up. Get big and strong. Alright. So yeah, now, if we use our left-handed light attack with this... We light a cute little fire. It's, it's nice. I don't think Griggs has anything to say about this. Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself. I'm fine. Let's get started straight away. Anything? I wish to do what I can to locate Master Logan. I am aware of my shortcomings, but I cannot very well just sit around here and rot. Oh, do not worry. I have considered our relationship. I will only leave after I have taught you all the sorceries that I know. I shall count myself lucky if I manage to locate Logan, or even return here in one piece. So that's kind of an interesting thing that he'll mention that he will actually leave if he teaches you all of the sorceries. I'm not sure if he'll actually do it before Logan gets back here, but anyway. Two things are uh, yep. first. So this then, is oh. an old one. Goodbye then. Do stay safe. Will do. It's also worth noting that. When you compare Griggs's accent to Laurentius, Griggs is posh as fuck, where Laurentius just sounds like a country boy. And it is, again, that sort of subtle characterization. I really like it. Also, I guess since we're here... Hey, buddy. You gonna, you gonna come attack me? <laughs> this isn't exactly, you know, the most ideal way to use it. I don't care. That's cute, you have fire. I also have fire, except for my hand. It is worth noting that putting it on, on my offhand means that I don't actually have a shield uh, when I'm going to be using it, so... Often I actually put it in my right hand. But... I don't know. I'm trying this out. See if I like it. I gotta stop talking so I can jump cut here. 